Friday the 26th and we are headed to our first Airbnb. We got Willow in the back, sleeping in her kennel, all relaxed. And also we did put our um, eBay store on vacation mode mm -hmm. and we already had one sale, which I hopefully that they read because it's not getting shipped out for 15 days. We actually maxed out vacation mode where you can only do sales up to 15 days. And that's exactly what we did with. So it's 15 days, we'll be gone. It will be a two week actual road trip. So the first actual Airbnb is in a small town called Ridgeway, South Carolina, close to Camden. We're gonna thrift in Logoff, Elgin, and Camden tomorrow. But we actually have like a little lake house when we get there. I also wanted to show you guys the rear camera that we were talking about. So there is our box on the back and we can see it, which is really, really cool. Items are closer than they appear in the mirror. Yeah. <laughs> You think they're in the woods? Yeah, oh yeah, they're running through the woods right now. Probably got a dog chasing them. Oh, wow. Yeah, because right now they got all perimeters set to where cops can if talk If they to come them. out. If they come out, they can see them. Ah. So they're ready to roll, because all of them are on mark, too. Maybe we'll see you on the 10 o'clock news. <laughs> so we are on the trail, Gink. Ginkgo Trail? Ginkgo Biloba Trail? Ginkgo Biloba Trail? We always end up on a dirt road somewhere. <laughs> well, listen, I am ready to be at the Airbnb, guys. <laughs> this road's a little bumpy, so she's. Oh. Are we gonna fit? Oh, yeah, we're gonna fit tires. Yeah, I'm starting to see something. That, ho that house is. Really nice. I promise. I don't remember them having a boat. Yeah. Or that dock. Yeah, this is it. Are you sure? Yes. We are here. Welcome to day to early morning here and uh, we're actually going to go to a community yard sale for the other channel the beard thrift machine but i wanted to get up early because this community yard sale people wake up early here uh 7 a.m which usually down by us and eh, hit or miss if it's seven but we are on lake watery which is close to camden south carolina log golf south carolina but check out the uh there's a dam over there that's actually pretty cool looking and later on we will be doing some fishing not in that boat though i wish we could use the boat can't use the boat but people say that this lake's got a lot of fish in it so i'll test that out later on tonight but we got a lot of work to get done we also had one more sale on vacation mode which was a ping iron sold for 25 dollars, and also we had some on cloud sell for 40 dollars. Uh, again we're not going to ship those for 15 days hopefully they did uh actually look at that because what i do is is that i do a message to them and also the banner the banner i'm pretty sure it is like that's what happens when you do vacation mode is the banner goes up the top says hey this seller is away and then the message just i like to add that and just say hey listen if you didn't see the banner please see the message because it's gonna be 15 days until you get your shoes downtown camden's actually pretty nice it kind of looks like conway in a way older town brick houses i mean brick buildings they have a nice little theater up here. Movie theater. Deadpool. Oh, they do have Twister. <gasps> they do. They do. I want to see that movie so bad. That was a cute little town. Very small town. Not, some, not a lot of lights. There's a big old storm up ahead. Big old storm. Maybe. Hopefully it's not Twister. No, I was just going to say, maybe <laughs> it has a Twister. So, how have you liked Camden? It's good. It's a nice little, or log off is where we're coming into. It's, um, 
small town, a lot less traffic than Myrtle Beach. People were nice. Can't ask for anything more. And the Goodwills and thrift stores. Uh, the overall Goodwills and thrift stores, the Goodwills are not the strategy here. We can, I mean, you can just tell, not the strategy. It would definitely be the mom and pop ones. We found the more stuff and actually, the yard sales were phenomenal. So if you want to see that footage, definitely go on to the Bearded Thrift Machine channel to watch that. We found some amazing stuff for super cheap. But um, the Goodwills here probably aren't that good, right? Yeah. They And you can almost tell by the way that they are. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You walk in, you're like, eh. So our Goodwills, Palmetto State, our Palmetto Goodwills are really, really nice. But the mom and pop ones here, really good, uh, decent, you know, they're not overly priced. And, and the yard sales was really good yeah, this morning. They were really good. And then the Habitat for Humanity of Kershaw, that you could probably find a whole bunch of stuff at. Yeah. For sure. So, Goodwills, but the rest of it ain't too shabby. Now, we get to go catfishing. Yes, we do. I'm excited. Look at that view. That ain't too shabby. We're about ready to head out our last night here at Lake Watery. We're heading up to a small town called Traveler's Rest, South Carolina. We've been there before, but not on this part of town. We stayed in a little, if you guys remember, we stayed in a little like RV up there, which was really cool with some horses. This time we're staying in a little bit bigger place just so we have enough time to go thrifting and everything. So we'll be thrifting in Greenville, South Carolina a lot. Like the entire day, I think on Tuesday, We'll be thrifting up there, so we're gonna go ahead, hit the road, go through all back roads, show you guys what we see. So Kayla has found this really cool little like garden thing. Here it is right there, the Jane and Dan Breeden Garden Entrance. That's where we are right now. It's actually in Spartanburg, South Carolina, super nice. We're running a little bit earlier than we were before when it came to the Airbnb, so we're gonna come check this place out. Willow is acting up already, but it looks like a, uh, like super nice back here it's almost like the amazon look at this we're in a rainforest they got like a little stream i think there's trout in that stream this place is super nice hey, well said i'm gonna get i'm gonna jump in there they got big old fish they're like gigantic uh koi fish or something I mean, that is a really cool looking fish. What type of fish is that? Is that like a koi? A big goldfish? This guy over here is going crazy. What is this dude doing over yonder here? Check him out. That's a big old boy right there. Look at all the little minnows in there. He does not blend in well. If you were like a predator, he'd be the first one to go. Oh, look at that guy. Hey, Fred, how's it going? Oh, just on my Sunday stroll. Willow, what is that? She said, I think I could catch it, Dad. Oh, look, it's gonna come say hey to you. Willow, what is that? Is that your friend? And that is not my friend. So the, we got some birds here, and as you know, we're trying to become bird connoisseurs in our backyard. These would be the same type of birds. We're not that far away from home. I think we're only like five hours, six hours away. But I really wanna see the red shoulder talk. I feel like he's my favorite. They have a little book area that you can pick out a book and you can sit down over here and read it. And read it. That's How pretty cool. That? Very nice. That's really cool. I have just spotted Alvin. Check him out. Where are your buddies? Where are your buddies, Alvin? So that was a really cool little garden that you found, uh, like a little slice of awesomeness in the middle of, I think, like a town, like an actual city. So we're gonna press on to Traveler's Rest. Backpacking, canoeing, and climbing. So we have made it to Traveler's Rest after spending uh, an hour and a half in a Food Lion parking lot watching YouTube because we were a little bit early to get into the Air Bs and Bs. But this is it right there. Welcome to Traveler's Rest. It's a little bit, the this is a bigger town than I thought. I thought this was a much smaller town, but it's got a stoplight. Mm -hmm. 
So that means it's fairly large. And there's a guy on a bicycle. bicycle. We made it to the next Airbnb, only a couple minutes down from Traveler's Rest downtown. We'll go there tomorrow, but this place actually looks really cool. Can't wait to go inside. The backyard is actually the reason why we rented it, because it has a really cool backyard. Uh, we're going to eat some steaks tonight, but let's go in here and let's check it out. We actually had to double check to make sure this was the right Airbnb, because this is the nicest place I think we've ever been in our entire life. It's really harsh lighting, but check this out real quick. Look at that kitchen. We don't, well, a lot of times we don't put links to Airbnbs just because a lot of times, you know, we're like, eh. But this one, we'll, we'll say who it is or whatever. But we haven't even been outside yet. The kitchen is insane. That's the uh, the living area. I'm sure the bedrooms look like bedrooms. But the this is the, re the reason why we rented it is because in the pictures, it looked awesome in the backyard. You come into this room right here. Gigantic Jenga. That's cool. Then we have a little playroom, but the backyard looks super nice. Locking doors. We're always a big fan of locking doors. It smells really good. It smells really good. Doesn't smell bad. Everything's nice and clean. Check out the backyard. This is very nice. Got a nice picnic table. There's a shovel. We can actually dig holes. So that's fun. A nice commercial grill. Nice and clean, so we're gonna eat some steaks tonight. And then that's it, there's a thing. Willow has a yard to play in. So that ain't too shabby. This is probably the one of the nicer Airbnbs. Is they have the lighting here. So tonight we might take a little snippet of the lighting, but that's gonna wrap up this video. So we're doing pretty good on our road trip, right? It was only a three hour drive here, four hours drive here. We're taking all back roads, little towns been pretty easy we haven't sold anything else on ebay yet on vacation mode it really does hurt your store so when we get back we'll have a ton of work to do but we're not going to think about that what we're going to do is relax for the rest of the evening because tomorrow we're going to greenville and to traveler's rest to thrift we'll see you on the next one